Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So the time has finally come for me to review the brand new Charlotte Tilbury Glow Gasm Collection. So if you want to hear my thoughts on this collection, then just keep watching. So first of all, this collection looked absolutely gorgeous. You guys know I had to pick this up and review it for you guys and you guys were asking, so here it finally is. So the Glowgasm collection is currently only available on the Charlotte Tilbury website right now. Not sure when it will be coming to Sephora, but I do know it will be available in stores starting on May 2nd. So get ready for that, just a couple more weeks. The collection includes two Glowgasm face palettes, both of which I picked up, three beauty light wands. I did only pick one up and then finally two different shades of the eyes to mesmerize which did come out previously and they were sold out so they restocked on them and then put them in this collection. I did not pick either of those up, but they do look very beautiful. So the two face palettes that came out, of course, which are the showstoppers of this collection are called the Glowgasm Face Palettes. They come in two different shades. You have Lightgasm and then you have Lovegasm. As you can see, uh, this one is clearly much lighter for more light to medium skin tones and this one is for medium to deep skin tones. I will get into that in a few minutes, but I did just wanna show you that I did pick up both so that I can compare them for you guys and like I said I did only pick up one of the beauty wands so I got pink gasm they also have a peach gasm which I am kind of considering picking up and then they had gold gasm which I did not pick up because I felt like that wouldn't be quite suitable for my skin tone but if you do really love a gold liquid highlighter I would recommend it for more medium to deep skin tones I think you guys will really like it Charlotte Tilbury has a very good formula with these beauty wands I personally am not in love with a liquid cream highlighter but they are she does have a pretty good formula with those I do want to quickly talk about the one that I did pick up uh, so this is pink gasm and it comes in her typical packaging for her beauty wands personally I hate this packaging that's just my own personal preference and when you first swatch it it looks quite opaque as you can see it looks very metallic swatch wise and it looks very pigmented but as soon as you start to blend it out it really does sheer out so it's not quite as scary so when I applied it to my cheek I just kind of wanted to try it out before I talked about it in this video so I just put some foundation on this half of my face and I just went straight in with the beauty wand and started blending it out with my fingers you guys it looked very intimidating at first but blended out very sheer and beautiful just like her typical beauty wand formula this is so pretty and so natural if you do not like a glowy look on your cheek you are not going to like this but I really do love this pink gasm color it's very light very natural it gives such a beautiful flush to the face now obviously the only experience I have with that is what I just showed in the video so I definitely do want to play with this some more so keep an eye out on a product update video but I will say from what I can tell right now I do really like this and I do think it's beautiful I think on a more deeper complexion you might not love this as much as I do because it does go quite sheer it is slightly buildable but it's you're not going to get full opacity as when you swatch it really so just be aware of that that you can build up on it a little bit but I wouldn't go too crazy. I'm considering buying another one. By the way, these retail for $38 each, or you can get the bundle of all three for $100. So thus far, I really am enjoying this quite a lot. All right, so let's get into the nitty gritty, the part that I know you guys have been waiting for, the Glowgasm face palettes. So both of these retail for $75 each, which is I mean, it's Charlotte Tilbury. That price doesn't surprise me, but you know, $75 is a lot. So the whole collection comes in this holographic kind of box. Really cute. But let's talk about the actual packaging on these guys. They are so beautiful. They have this watercolor effect, which has a face in it. So beautiful. They both have the same packaging. On the back, it tells you what each of the products are. And then you get a really nice big mirror, which is always appreciated. This actually is really nice to do your makeup and it's quite large. So the two we have here are Lightgasm, which obviously is the much lighter one. And then Lovegasm, which has a lot more deepness and warmth to it. The reason that I wanted to pick both up is because I've really been appreciating brands that make skin tone specific palettes rather than those brands that put out one palette or two palettes and it's just a mixture of different shades that are supposed to work for all skin tones but in reality if you pick those up you can only use some of the shades and not all of the shades which is kind of a waste of money so I really appreciate brands that 
try and make the effort for skin tone specific palettes so that you can use all four of the shades. Charlotte Tilbury is kind of known for not being the most inclusive brand so I just wanted to see how far they went with that more medium to deep palette um, and if it would work for me and with all due respect it should not work for me and I was kind of hoping for that just so that we could see a brand that really locked down on that skin tone specific palette. So both of these palettes are described online as a glow gasmic prisma highlight multi glow love blush and bronze for all over love light rainbow effect skin and eye gliding. It features four gorgeous glowing shades to enhance every skin tone and will bring instant magic to your makeup look. So here's what I thought was interesting. On the back, it labels highlight as one, multi glow as two, pop blush as three, and bronze as four. For the average person, I would definitely think that that means that's the order that you use it. And then you look online for the application tips and it's the complete opposite. You want to bronze first, then put the blush on, then put the highlighter on, and then put that multi glow on. So that's what they recommend online. I mean, obviously that doesn't really bother me. I'm going to use it how I want it, but I don't know why they did that. I feel like that's quite confusing because the numbers here are different than the numbers for application recommendation. That's me looking really far into that, but that just would make the most sense to me. So both of the palettes are laid out the same in that you have a bronzer here, a blush here, the multi-glow, what they call it here, and then the highlighter right here. So let's specifically get into lightgasm first. That is what is on this side of my face. So I did spot clean my brushes in between each use. I just wanted to make sure I was using the same brushes for both sides so that I can get the most accurate opinion. So for the bronzer, I used the Esum X51. And the first thing that I did was I put the bronzer on. Now the bronzer in here is really beautiful. It's really light and what I do like about this is it is buildable. Now all of these are kind of that gelée formula which seems to be quite popular this year. It doesn't create a mess or too much powder and it is quite workable and buildable. So for beginners the gelée formula is fantastic. Personally I prefer a bit of a more powdery consistency. Uh, however that's just a personal preference. I do think these are really awesome for people who do have really heavy hands. So this bronzer is really light on my skin tone uh, but it was buildable which was really great so if you are very fair this bronzer I think is going to look really good on you it wasn't too warm um, it's kind of a perfect bronze shade honestly I really do like it it did add warmth without being too red or anything or orange so this bronzer was really beautiful um, I did kind of have to dig into every single color of this I would say especially that bronzer I did go back in all the time but you know what I feel like this is a bronzer where you can never apply too much so that is really good so like I said, for a beginner, this is really lovely. Or for somebody who doesn't like the look of too much, I think you will really like that. I then went in with the blush. For blush today, I used the Esum X52. Now for this blush shade, it's not really my favorite. Um, it's a very pink shade with a strong, strong gold shift. Uh, it's very shimmery. If you don't like a shimmery blush, you're not going to like it. Um, on my cheek, it's literally all gold when the light catches it. And that's not my preference for blush. I don't really like that really strong golden shift because I feel like that does emphasize texture but that's just a personal thing. It is very pretty. This doesn't have too much color to it. I wish it had more of a base color and a like a touch less shimmer. It is buildable. It starts off very light but I just wish it had a stronger base color and that shift is really really strong. So some of you may like that but for me personally I don't love it. I think it's okay. I can see myself grabbing for another blush and using this as a blush topper to add that little bit of a sheen. Also this blush is really good if you don't like adding highlight. You know if you want that blush and highlight combo this is the perfect blush but given all of the other shimmery additives in here I just didn't find this so necessary to have such a strong shift. I then went in with the highlight shift Shade and I use the Morphe. I believe it's a Y4 brush. The letters are kind of taken off. And you guys, this is definitely for me the showstopper of this specific palette. It is so beautiful on my skin tone. It is so super duper glowy. Like this really is a gorgeous highlight. It looks super smooth on the skin as well. It applied seamlessly and it actually deposited quite a lot of color for that gelée formula. I didn't feel the need to have to build it up that much. Also before the highlight, sorry I forgot, I did use this what's described as a multi-glow and I was kind of confused as to what I would do with this. But honestly this works as a more neutral highlighter on my skin tone. It applies that glow but is very close to my skin tone so it doesn't add a dark cast but it also doesn't create this 
beam so I do like this color I can see this as an all over just like cheek glow as well so if I don't apply this this works well as that blush and highlighter beware this is much more metallic and almost chrome compared to the blush so if you do use this as a blush if you have texture on your cheeks Ooh, that won't be very good, but uh, I do like this color. I actually kind of applied it everywhere all over my face and it did apply that very strong glow, but was very pretty. Overall, with the color scheme of this, I felt like everything looks very seamless in my skin. There is no sometimes, what is it, that chocolate, strawberry, vanilla look on your face. All of these colors blend together absolutely beautifully so this is a very cohesive palette on the face so on my light skin tone i actually really really love this i think it is gorgeous but honestly i feel like this palette is only really compatible for fair to light skin tones once we hit that medium range this isn't going to work for you which there is nothing wrong with that because they did come out with a deeper palette so i'm not mad at that at all that this is a little bit more exclusive to fair to light skin tones because you know what that's kind of what it's marketed as and they do have a, another option so I am very very happy with this face palette so let's move on to the lovegasm palette I will be honest of up front this does work for me which doesn't make me mad but I'm just like a little bit disappointed because I really wanted her to take that inclusivity and run with it but let's just get into it so for the bronzer shade it definitely has a lot more warmth to it and it is a little bit deeper I wouldn't say it's crazy crazy deeper by any means but it definitely had a little bit more red and warmth to it as compared to the light gasm but I can definitely make this bronzer work for me I don't dislike it at all like I think it looks nice but it is a complete different tone than the light gasm this definitely is for more medium skin tones but if you have a light skin tone, this will work on you. For the blush, I actually prefer this blush over the Lightgasm. It is a bit of a different tone. It's a little bit more terracotta. It also has that really strong golden shift. If you don't like that, that's just what the blushes in the collection are. So that's what's on my cheek right now. It's actually a little bit more subtle once you apply it. Slightly more terracotta-y, but I don't really love this blush formula. I just think it's a little bit more sheer than I would prefer because you guys know crazy about blush. I then went in with the glow shade right here which is much more golden than the lightgasm. It didn't create a shadow on my face at all which I'm surprised by. It added much more of a subtle glow because it is a little bit deeper. It's not as bam as this one so it is pretty for a subtle golden glow on my skin and I do think on deep skin tones this is going to be really really gorgeous medium skin tones as well. So yeah if you have a more tan to deep skin tone you're going to really like this. The formula of the highlighters in here fantastic and then we have the multi-glow shade which is kind of a copper and for me this doesn't really work for my skin tone I actually ended up using it to make the blush pop a little bit more and I like this color better than the actual blush for a blush however this is that more kind of chrome finish so once you put it on all of your texture is exposed so if you are going to do that just be aware so for this shade it on my face it really wasn't flattering to my skin tone which isn't a bad thing i did end up putting it all over my eyes which made a really pretty copper color all over my eyes and i really liked it but yeah so for the most part if you do have a light skin tone i will say you can definitely get this to work this side of my face looks darker than this side of my face but it's almost like they're just two different looks on my light skin something a little bit more light airy and pink and then something a little bit more warm and terracotta but i will say for the most part i do think this will cater to medium to deep skin tones pretty well deep skin tones though I don't know I think this might be a little bit too highlighty on your skin tone where the base color won't show as much and you'll just get those reflectiveness on your face you know I don't have that skin tone so I can't speak for that so if you do have a deep skin tone and you have used this palette can you please comment down below and tell me your experience about it and I will pin it for everybody to see but yeah I mean if you have a light skin tone this works for you if you like a little bit more of a warm burnt terracotta look You'll, you'll like this but definitely for my preferences I prefer the light gasm on myself and I mean that's the way it should be I really do genuinely enjoy these palettes I will be handing this off to somebody that this is going to work better for but I definitely am going to keep the light gasm I think it is beautiful overall collective thoughts about this collection I am loving this pink gasm beauty light wand thus far I will be updating you on it because I haven't really used it used it yet uh, but I think this is a really nice product it's very sheer and natural and i would totally recommend this the glow gasm palettes i think are very beautiful 
If you do not like a glowy cheek, run far, far away from these. But I think the direction we're going is for very glowy cheeks and glowy face products. So this is totally on trend. And I think these do a beautiful job. They have the most beautiful finish on the skin. And I think, you know what, if you are used to paying the Charlotte Tilbury prices, you will really enjoy these. Whether or not it's worth $75 is up to you. I think $75 is definitely up there in price for a face palette. If you simply can't afford it, you're not going to die if you don't own this palette. But if you have the money, I think you will really like this palette. So anyways, I hope you guys found this review helpful and that this helped you decide to whether or not to pick this up or which colors to get and let me know your thoughts down below on this release i personally think everything about this release is so beautiful i cannot get over the embossment on these that's 90 percent of the reason why i bought it i'm gonna be honest i saw these on dread mood and i was like oh my goodness these are beautiful and i'm so excited to have these in my collection so if you've stuck around this long thank you so much i hope you decide to hit that subscribe button if you aren't already and i will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Have a great day.